fast food and fast charging. That's a match made in heaven, right? Um, now, as you know, I treat my body like a temple, so I'm really only here for the charging part of the deal today. Now, if you've visited a McDonald's, a Costa or a KFC recently, like this one in central London, you may well have noticed one of these Instavolt charging units because they're popping up at them all over the place. So today I'm going to show you how they work, how you pay and how long it will take you to charge. Sorry, I forgot the ketchup. Oh, it's Tommy had one job, one job. If you're new to electric, Instavolt is one of the fastest growing charging brands in the UK with 800 chargers already live and plans to install thousands more. Now we're big fans of Instavolt here at Electrify, not least because they're in really convenient locations, even if they are a bit noisy. Um, but we know from the feedback that you give us that they are reliable and quick and easy to use. And we really like some of the basic stuff, like this big LED strip up there, which glows green when it's available and blue when it's a use. Now that is so handy if you're passing the site on the main road there and you just want to see if there is a charger free. Let me show you something else. The turning top that allows you to move the cable around, makes it much easier to use on cars that have the charging port at the front, cars like the Audi e-tron or the Porsche Taycan. Like a lot of charging companies, Instavolt has a number of different designs for their chargers, but the unit we're talking about today is the most common one. Now the units here all have a maximum output of 50 kilowatts. So if you're new to electric cars, this is the maximum figure that each unit can deliver power at. So even if you have a car like a Kia EV6 with a 250 kilowatt charging speed, you're not going to get anything that quick here. You'll just get the 50 kilowatt that this unit can deliver. Another important thing to know is that the chargers alter the speed at which they deliver power according to the condition of your battery. Now, the car will always tell the charger the speed it can handle. So if your battery is too cold, too hot or almost full, you won't get all of that faster 50 kilowatts. But anyway, that's enough of the science. Let's get on with the charging. Now, as you can see, these 50 kilowatt units have got nice clear screens and they have the payment terminal integrated into the units, which is great because some of the chargers have got third party payment terminals attached to the outside, which open to the elements so they can get wet. So to start the charger, all you have to do is tap your card on the icon there. You'll get a notification to plug in and all of these units will also allow you to use um, Apple Pay or Google Pay so you can use your phone or your watch as well. You can also start a charge using the Instavolt app. It's one of the better apps we've used and comes with the advantage of logging all your charges in one place along with proper receipts. You need to register a payment card to your account and the cost is taken from that. Now, once you're plugged in, you'll hear the usual clunks and clicks as the car prepares to charge. And of course, the lights up here will have changed to blue. And if you look back at the screen, the charges are telling us things like the level of the battery, how much power is being added, and also how big the bill is going to be. While we're talking money, these Instavolt units cost 45 pence per kilowatt hour to use. Now, our Vauxhall Mocha has a battery of 45 kilowatt hours. So if we were going to charge from empty to full, in theory, it would be around 20 pounds for a fill up. A more typical 10 to 80% charge would cost around £13. Like all electric cars, the Mocha E slows its rate of charge when it gets to around 80% capacity. Now that's to protect the battery because rapid charging generates a lot of heat. In reality, most drivers don't charge on empty and leave on full. The fastest and most efficient way to charge is to arrive with around 10% left in the battery and charge to 80%. Now, one of the questions we get asked the most at electrifying is how long will it take to charge my car? So if you're looking to charge from 10 to 80%, which is the figure we often use, it's going to take you approximately 50 minutes using this 50 kilowatt charger. If you have a larger or a smaller battery, then that will vary slightly. So to finish your charge, all you have to do is tap the stop charge button on the screen and the connector will unlock itself from the car. Then you simply unplug, hang it back and you're done.